Hey guys, Ray from Love You RV. So I'm back with a quick update on my suspension upgrades. So in the fall I installed a few items from Lippard. They sent it out to me free of charge, just as a disclaimer. And uh, one of them was this EQ, the Road Armor Equalizer. Also I got the heavy duty shackles and the wet bolt kit and bronze bushings. So I did the job on the other side first. You can see it over there. And I do have a video of the complete insul installation that I did. But I thought now that I've done the other side early this spring and had both of them all installed, I decided to take it on a trip and give it a really good test before I came back and gave you my opinion. Um, so we went out to a campsite called Strathcona Park, Buttle Lake Campground. Now it's around 57 kilometers, I think, from our location here in Campbell River. So about 40 miles, but it was a good test because the the road is very curvy, lots of uh, curves and winds and hills up and down, um, rough patches, that sort of thing. And the campground actually had quite a few potholes. So overall, my impression, I frankly didn't notice a huge difference compared to my previous uh, suspension, which had the trail air equalizer. Um, you know, it's really hard to tell when you're towing a fifth wheel with a big truck. Um, everything handled nice. My rigs always handled really nice in curves and stuff like that. I don't get much chucking at all, so it hasn't hurt anything. Um, maybe a slight improvement. It's Like I say, it's really hard to tell. But I'm really happy that the components are much more heavy duty now. Everything is thicker and higher quality, especially the shackles. Like compared to my old shackles, these ones are much thicker. And it's really nice to be able to grease the the bushings on that thing versus just having the cheap plastic bushings that were in there before. Overall, people have asked, you know, did it raise the level of your camper at all? And no, it didn't didn't raise anything at all. It's exactly the same because the dimensions of the installation were the same, the shackles were the same length, this road armor, the bolt spacing was the same. Um, my trailers always kind of seem to ride really low um, even from day one, I have like some photos here of the first year we had the trailer and then another one from about five years ago and then another one from today. The only thing that's changed is our truck. We had an older truck before. It sat a little more level, even with the new truck though it's pretty level, maybe slightly nose high. The springs on it have always kind of worried me. Let's get a closer look at the spring for you. You can see there's not a lot of bow to them. They're uh, almost getting down sort of flat. I always thought, well, maybe those springs are starting to flatten out. But looking back at pictures again from the early years, it really hasn't changed much. And they don't really move too much underway. So I decided to put a camera under here while we were driving around and kind of give you a look at the action. So. The camera I put under was when we were driving through the, the campground, so we were hitting some decent potholes. So it'll give you an idea of the movement of the springs and the equalizer as you hit a rough road patch or a pothole. And the whole idea is to smooth out the ride so things inside your trailer aren't bouncing around and vibrating. Also easier on the trailer frame. I've also got the, the Trail Air Pin Box. Uh, it has a has a, like a rubber cushion on it that you blow up with air, like a pillow, uh, airbag, and it also has a shock. So uh, I'll give you a little footage of us going down the road, and you can see that really a uh, really a uh, shock absorbs quite a bit of the road vibration and movement from transferring from the truck and the hitch into your trailer. I think that's really helped to save the frame as well. That's all I'm trying to do is a make sure I can keep the frame in good shape and not crack. Also the items inside the trailer don't move around and vibrate as much. You know our own personal items but also all the piping and plumbing and gas lines and appliances that sort of thing. Another thing that amazes me about this trailer is there's not much clearance between the tops of the tires and above but it's never rub or anything and I've gone through a lot of uh, hills and Seems like the trailer's been bouncing along, but it's never actually touched the top of that. 
And like I say, early on it always sat very low too, so I just think that's the way the, the whole suspension is set up. Anyway, just an update for you. I'll probably come back for a longer term update, maybe after if we get down south for six months this year. I'll come back, you know, give you a really long term opinion on this setup, but I think it's going to be really good. Till next time, Ray from loveyourv.com. Cheers, folks.